Das Kapital, also known as Capital. Critique of Political Economy German, Das Kapital. Critic der Politischen Ökonomie, pronounced Das Kapital, Ki Tiek de Pli Tno Stroke Ko No Mi, 1867-1883 by Karl Marx as a foundational theoretical text in materialist philosophy, economics and politics. Marx aimed to reveal the economic patterns underpinning the capitalist mode of production, in contrast to classical political economists such as Adam Smith, Jean-Baptiste Say, David Ricardo and John Stuart Mill. Marx did not live to publish the planned second and third parts, but they were both completed from his notes and published after his death by his colleague Friedrich Engels. Das Kapital is the most cited book in the social sciences published before 1950. Themes In Das Kapital 1867, Marx proposes that the motivating force of capitalism is in the exploitation of labor, whose unpaid work is the ultimate source of surplus value. The owner of the means of production is able to claim the right to this surplus value because he or she is legally protected by the ruling regime through property rights and the legally established distribution of shares which are by law only to be distributed to company owners and their board members. The historical section shows how these rights were acquired in the first place chiefly through plunder and conquest and the activity of the merchant and middle man. In producing capital, produced goods, the workers continually reproduce the economic conditions by which they labor. Capital proposes an explanation of the laws of motion of the capitalist economic system, from its origins to its future, by describing the dynamics of the accumulation of capital, the growth of wage labor, the transformation of the workplace, the concentration of capital, commercial competition, the banking system, the decline of the profit rate, land rents, etc. The critique of the political economy of capitalism proposes that wage labor is the basic cell form trade unit of a capitalist society. Moreover, because commerce as a human activity implied no morality beyond that required to buy and sell goods and services, the growth of the market system made discrete entities of the economic, the moral and the legal spheres of human activity in society, hence, subjective moral value is separate from objective economic value. Subsequently, political economy—the just distribution of wealth and political arithmetic about taxes— became three discrete fields of human activity, economics, law and ethics, politics and economics divorced. The economic formation of society is a process of natural history. It is thus possible for a political economist to objectively study the scientific laws of capitalism, given that its expansion of the market system of commerce had objectified human economic relations. The use of money cash nexus voided religious and political illusions about its economic value and replaced them with commodity fetishism, the belief that an object commodity has inherent economic value. Because societal economic formation is a historical process, no one person could control or direct it, thereby creating a global complex of social connections among capitalists. The economic formation individual commerce of a society thus precedes the human administration of an economy organized commerce. The structural contradictions of a capitalist economy, the Gegensatzliche Bewegung, describe the contradictory movement originating from the twofold character of labor and so the class struggle between labor and capital, the wage laborer and the owner of the means of production. These capitalist economic contradictions operate behind the backs of the capitalists and the workers as a result of their activities and yet remain beyond their immediate perceptions as men and women and as social classes. The economic crises recession, depression, etc. that are rooted in the contradictory character of the economic value of the commodity cell unit of a capitalist society are the conditions that propitiate proletarian revolution, which the Communist Manifesto 1848 collectively identified as a weapon, forged by the capitalists, which the working class turned against the bourgeoisie, itself. In a capitalist economy, technological improvement and its consequent increased production augment the amount of material wealth use value in society while simultaneously diminishing the economic value of the same wealth, thereby diminishing the rate of profit—a paradox characteristic of economic crisis in a capitalist economy. Poverty in the midst of plenty. 
Consequent to overproduction and underconsumption, after two decades of economic study and preparatory work, especially regarding the theory of surplus value, the first volume appeared in 1867 as The Production Process of Capital. After Marx's death in 1883, from manuscripts and the first volume Engels introduced Volume 2, The Circulation Process of Capital in 1885, and Volume 3, The Overall Process of Capitalist Production in 1894. These three volumes are collectively known as Das Kapital. Synopsis Capital. Volume 1 Capital, Volume 1 1867, is a critical analysis of political economy, meant to reveal the contradictions of the capitalist mode of production, how it was the precursor of the socialist mode of production and of the class struggle rooted in the capitalist social relations of production. The first of three volumes of Das Kapital. Critic der politischen Ökonomie Capital. Critique of Political Economy was published on 14 September 1867, dedicated to Wilhelm Wolff and was the sole volume published in Marx's lifetime. Topic. Capital. Volume 2 Capital, Volume 2, subtitled The Process of Circulation of Capital, was prepared by Engels from notes left by Marx and published in 1885. It is divided into three parts, the metamorphoses of capital and their circuits, the turnover of capital and the reproduction and circulation of the aggregate social capital. In Volume 2, the main ideas behind the marketplace are to be found, how value and surplus value are realized. Its dramatis personae are not so much the worker and the industrialist as in volume 1, but rather the money owner and money lender, the wholesale merchant, the trader and the entrepreneur or functioning capitalist. Moreover, workers appear in Volume 2, essentially as buyers of consumer goods and therefore as sellers of the commodity labor power, rather than producers of value and surplus value. Though this latter quality, established in Volume 1, remains the solid foundation on which the whole of the unfolding analysis is based. Reading Volume 2 is of monumental significance to understanding the theoretical construction of Marx's whole argument. Marx himself quite precisely clarified this place in a letter sent to Engels on 30 April 1868. In Book 1, we content ourselves with the assumption that if in the self-expansion process £100 becomes £110, the latter will find already in existence in the market the elements into which it will change once more. But now we investigate the conditions under which these elements are found at hand, namely the social intertwining of the different capitals, of the component parts of capital and of revenue equals S. This intertwining, conceived as a movement of commodities and of money, enabled Marx to work out at least the essential elements, if not the definitive form, of a coherent theory of the trade cycle, based upon the inevitability of periodic disequilibrium between supply and demand under the capitalist mode of production Mandel, 1978, Introduction to Volume 2 of Capital. Volume 2 of Capital has indeed been not only a sealed book, but also a forgotten one. To a large extent, it remains so to this very day. Part 3 is the point of departure for a topic given its Marxist treatment later in detail by Rosa Luxemburg, among others. Topic. Capital. Volume 3 Capital, Volume 3, subtitled The Process of Capitalist Production as a Whole, was prepared by Friedrich Engels from notes left by Karl Marx and published in 1894. It is in seven parts. The conversion of surplus value into profit and the rate of surplus value into the rate of profit Conversion of profit into average profit The law of the tendency of the rate of profit to fall Conversion of commodity capital and money capital into commercial capital and money dealing capital, merchants capital. Division of profit into interest and profit of enterprise, interest bearing capital. Transformation of surplus profit into ground rent. Revenues and their sources The work is best known today for Part 3, which in summary says that as the organic fixed capital requirements of production rise as a result of advancements in production generally, the rate of profit tends to fall. This result, which orthodox Marxists believe is a principal contradictory characteristic leading to an inevitable collapse of the capitalist order, was held by Marx and Engels to 
as a result of various contradictions in the capitalist mode of production result in crises whose resolution necessitates the emergence of an entirely new mode of production as the culmination of the same historical dialectic that led to the emergence of capitalism from prior forms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Intellectual influences. The purpose of Das Kapital 1867 was a scientific foundation for the politics of the modern labor movement. The analyses were meant to bring a science, by criticism, to the point where it can be dialectically represented, and so, reveal the law of motion of modern society, to describe how the capitalist mode of production was the precursor of the socialist mode of production. The argument is a critique of the classical economics of Adam Smith, David Ricardo, John Stuart Mill and Benjamin Franklin, drawing on the dialectical method that G. W. F. Hegel developed in Science of Logic and the Phenomenology of Spirit. Other intellectual influences on capital were the French socialists Charles Fourier, Comte de Saint-Simon, Jean-Charles Leonard de Sismondi and Pierre-Joseph Proudhon, and the Greek philosophers, especially Aristotle. At university, Marx wrote a dissertation comparing the philosophy of nature in the works of the philosophers Democritus circa 460 to 370 BC and Epicurus 341 to 270 BC the logical architecture of Das Kapital is derived in part from the politics and the Nicomachean ethics by Aristotle including the fundamental distinction between use value and exchange value the syllogisms CMC and MCM for simple commodity circulation and the circulation of value as capital Moreover, the description of machinery, under capitalist relations of production, as self-acting automata, derives from Aristotle's speculations about inanimate instruments capable of obeying commands as the condition for the abolition of slavery. In the 19th century, Marx's research of the available politico-economic literature required 12 years, usually in the British Library, London. Topic Capital, Volume 4 At the time of his death 1883, Marx had prepared the manuscript for Das Kapital, Volume 4, A Critical History of Theories of Surplus Value of His Time, the 19th Century. The philosopher Karl Kautsky published a partial edition of Marx's Surplus Value Critique and later published a full, three-volume edition as Theorien über den Mehrwert, Theories of Surplus Value, 1905-1910. The first volume was published in English as A History of Economic Theories 1952. Topic Publication Capital, Volume 1 1867 was published in Marx's lifetime, but he died in 1883 before completing the manuscripts for Capital, Volume 2 1885 and Capital, Volume 3 1894, which friend and collaborator Friedrich Engels edited and published as the work of Marx. The first translated publication of Das Kapital was in Imperial Russia in March 1872. It was the first foreign publication and the English edition appeared in 1887. Despite Tsarist censorship proscribing the harmful doctrines of socialism and communism, the Russian censors considered capital as a strictly scientific work of political economy the content of which did not apply to monarchic Russia, where capitalist exploitation had never occurred and was officially dismissed, given that very few people in Russia will read it, and even fewer will understand it. Nonetheless, Marx acknowledged that Russia was the country where capital was read and valued more than anywhere. The Russian edition was the fastest selling. 3,000 copies were sold in one year while the German edition took five years to sell 1,000, thus the Russian translation sold 15 times faster than the German original. In the wake of the global economic collapse of 2008-2009, Das Kapital was reportedly in high demand in Germany. In 2012, Red Quill Books released Capital, in manga, a comic book version of Volume 1 which is an expanded English translation of the wildly successful 2008 Japanese pocket version Das Capital Manga de Dokua. Topic translations The foreign editions of Capital. Critique of Political Economy 1867 by Karl Marx include a Russian translation by the revolutionary Mikhail Bakunin 1814-1876. Eventually Marx's work was translated into all major languages. 
The English translation by Samuel Moore and Marx's son in law Edward Aveling of Book I, overseen by Engels, was published in 1887 as Capital, a critical analysis of capitalist production by Swan Sonnenschein, Lowry, and Co., and reissued in the 1970s by Progress Publishers in Moscow, while a more recent English translation was made by Ben Fawkes and David Fernbach. The Penguin edition. The definitive critical edition of Marx's works, Mega II Marx Engels Gesamtausgabe, includes Das Kapital in German and French, for the first volume and shows all the versions and alterations made to the text, plus a very extensive apparatus of footnotes and cross references. Topic reviews In 2017, the historian Gareth Stedman Jones wrote in the Books and Arts section of the scientific journal Nature, What is extraordinary about Das Kapital is that it offers a still unrivaled picture of the dynamism of capitalism and its transformation of societies on a global scale. It firmly embedded concepts such as commodity and capital in the lexicon. And it highlights some of the vulnerabilities of capitalism, including its unsettling disruption of states and political systems. If Das Kapital has now emerged as one of the great landmarks of 19th century thought, it is because it connects critical analysis of the economy of his time with its historical roots. In doing so, he inaugurated a debate about how best to reform or transform politics and social relations, which has gone on ever since. Positive reception also cited the soundness of the methodology used in producing the book, which is called Imminent Critique. This approach, which starts from simple category and gradually unfolds into complex categories, employed internal criticism that finds contradiction within and between categories while discovering aspects of reality that the categories cannot explain. This meant that Marx had to build his arguments on historical narratives and empirical evidence rather than the arbitrary application of his ideas in his evaluation of capitalism. On the other hand, Das Kapitalism was also criticized for a number of weaknesses. For instance, there are theorists who stressed that this text was unable to reconcile the capitalist exploitation with prices dependent upon subjective wants in exchange relations. There are also those who argued that Marx's so-called increasing misery doctrine, which is presumed to mean that the proletariat is absolutely immiserated. Topic. Online editions Topic. Volumes. Capital, Volume 1, 1867, published in Marx's Lifetime Capital Volume 1, The Process of Production of Capital, from Marxist's Internet Archive Capital, Volume 1 Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox Capital, Volume I 1906 edition, downloadable text and PDF from Google Books, Capital, Volume II 1885, manuscript not completed by Marx before his death in 1883, subsequently edited and published, by friend and collaborator Friedrich Engels, as the work of Marx. Capital Volume 2, The Process of Circulation of Capital, from Marxists Internet Archive, Capital, Volume 3, 1894, manuscript not completed by Marx before his death in 1883, subsequently edited and published, by friend and collaborator Friedrich Engels, as the work of Marx. Capital Volume 3, The Process of Capitalist Production as a Whole, from Marxists Internet Archive, Capital, Volume 4, 1905-1910, Critical History of Theories of Surplus Value, Manuscript Written by Marx, Partial Edition Edited and Published, After Marx's Death, by Karl Kautsky, as Theories of Surplus Value, Other Editions Published Later. Capital, Volume 4, Theories of Surplus Value, from Marxists Internet Archive. Topic. Synopses Reading Marx's Capital – Series of Video Lectures by Professor David Harvey. Frederick Engels' Synopsis of Capital PDF. I. Marxists, 1868. p. 54, the first four parts chapters of the eventual seven of Volume 1. Otto Rule's Abridgment of Karl Marx's Capital – A Critique of Political Economy PDF. Workers' Liberty. P. 48. Topic. Footnotes. Topic. See also. Topic. Further reading. Topic. External links. How to read Marx's Capital by Louis Althusser.
Wage Labor and Capital. An earlier work by Marx that deals with many of the ideas later expanded in Das Kapital. Synopsis of Capital. By Friedrich Engels. Reading Marx's Capital. University Open Courses by David Harvey. Abridgment of Karl Marx's Capital. By Otto Ruhl. Annotations, explanations and clarifications to capital. Will help with understanding the early concepts. First in a series of accessible columns on capital by Joseph Chunera in Socialist Worker. Polylux Marx, a capital workbook in PPT slides. Why Marx's Capital Still Matters. David Harvey via Jacobin, July 12, 2018.